The PK9023 Pascal Field Mapper Kit is a useful tool for exploring and drawing the equipotential in electric field lines surrounding a two-dimensional charge conductor. Each kit contains the following elements. 100 sheets of semiconductive paper, each with a 23 by 30 centimeter grid on it. A silver conductive ink pen for drawing approximately 200 feet of continuous line. A corkboard working surface. 10 metal pushpins for attaching the paper to the board. Three wires for connecting the conductive paths. A circle template for drawing the conductive paths. And a large plastic tray for storing the paper and other supplies. To use the kit, first draw two opposing electrodes onto a sheet of semiconductive paper using the silver conducting ink pen. Wait a minimum of 10 minutes for the electrode ink to dry. Next, mount the semiconductive paper onto the corkboard using one pushpin in each corner and then stick one metal pushpin into each electrode. The location of the pushpin in the electrode is not crucial but be sure that the pushpin completely pierces the paper through the electrode and is held firmly in the corkboard. Use patch cords and alligator clips to connect the positive and negative terminals on a power supply to the pushpins in the electrodes, positive to one electrode and negative to the other. Connect patch cords and alligator clips to both terminals on a voltmeter and then clip the voltmeter's ground terminal to the negative electrode. Clip a loose metal pushpin or T-pin into the alligator clip attached to the second voltmeter terminal to create a probe. Turn the power supply on and adjust it to a desired voltage between 5 and 20 volts. Touch the probe to the paper to measure the potential difference between the negative electrode and the probe location. Move the probe until the desired potential difference is measured and then mark the paper at this point. Continue to move the probe and identify other locations on the paper with the same potential difference. Mark these points as well. After a sufficient number of points have been marked, connect them to produce an equipotential line. Draw an electric field line as an arrow starting from any point on the surface of the positive electrode and extending to the nearest equipotential line. Draw the arrow so that it leaves the surface of the electrode at a right angle and intersects the nearest equipotential line also at a right angle. You will find that to do this, the arrow must curve smoothly. From the tip of the arrow you just drew, draw another arrow like the previous that extends from that equipotential line to the next, and then another arrow to the next equipotential line, and so on until you reach the other electrode or the edge of the paper. If your field line extends off the edge of the paper, it may also re-enter the paper in another location. Use the equipotential lines as your guide, drawing arrows from higher potential to lower potential. Combine these arrows form one electric field line. Repeat the same steps to draw more electric field lines originating from the positive electrode. Draw as many field lines as necessary to demonstrate the shape of the electric field.